Hi, thought it was time to record another video and show you the progress that I've been making on the boat. Uh, well, I'll get right to it. Now, as you might recall, last video this uh, this float was still collapsed and folded in on the trailer and uh, right now it's extended fully and uh, so yeah I made that possible by fixing the rear beam and attaching the A-frames to it as you can see these uh, metal parts here and there's another one lying down under the beam right there uh, all the focus buggers my shot but okay those are all attached and working properly I had to grind the holes that are used to attach them with big bolts but uh, yeah they're fine and the last thing I've done is uh, I tabbed tab these in and what the function of those tabs is that um, the new skin layer will attach to those and it will make it lie flat and flush with the existing skin and there's, there's temporary screws in there which I'll remove and uh, yeah that really really works well I can do a lot with just glass but um, for connecting to existing existing wood it's uh, there's nothing better than just using tabs like this because it gives you something that you can work up against and in the background you can see what they look like when they're completed on the outside skin so in the foreground here you have fresh new tabs <laughs> that was my head <laughs> part of the job as you can see I laminated a new skin onto the outside part of this float uh, that's in the background and in the foreground I've well, reworked some wood that was rotten removed it and replaced it with clean wood and I also filled in these scallops that they had here originally it's it's in the original drawings uh, you, that you can leave that away and get a fairer hull shape well yeah right that's theory in practice all it does is really um, weaken the outside skin which contributes to it breaking down sooner that's not what you want so I got rid of that yeah and these supports were all loose I don't know what the hell happened with this float in its history but it's really taken a whole, an awful beating all of these interconnects were broken loose and even the ones supporting the deck I, most of them I could just pull out by hand I didn't even need a saw or a chisel or anything it was crazy so that thing has really been through the ringer it's amazing it's held together so long yeah there's still some not so nice looking wood I've tested all those patches and they're strong enough and they're gonna receive an extra lamination on the inside for strength and uh, for extra waterproofing as well uh, didn't feel like replacing the wood there wouldn't really be worth it in my idea did some replacement on the inside here as well where there was rot you can see some of the beam supports so I had to replace some wood there and at the bottom as well so it's nice and clamped down it's gelling right now so yeah there's uh, there's the float from the other side beam the rear beam was flexible on the top it's just taken too much of a beating and I didn't trust it so I laminated a couple of layers of uh, pretty strong material and six layers of unidirectional in between so that it's uh, well stronger than the original specs and I removed all the wood that was on top I'll show you that I'll uh, cut to that in a second and here we are magically appeared at the other side of the boat looking at the wooden covering on the original beam it's all covered with plywood the one on the starboard side that that I replaced was all loose the water had gotten under it and frozen it to bits so it was uh, it was terrible this one doesn't look as bad I ordinarily wouldn't have to replace it but well I don't want an asymmetric trimaran so I'm gonna have to rip that off it's gonna be a bit of a job but here you can see the original name by the way it's, the lights showing it pretty well Volare. or if you happen to be Italian correct me 
<laughs> no problem. And it just occurred to me that this is the first time it's possible to pan a shot of the whole completed trimaran as it is extended in the garden for the first time. The last time it was extended fully like this was when I went for a test sail. And that feels like it was ages and ages ago. But uh, yeah, oh, let me just step over the trailer there. Sorry for the jerky vid. Doing my best to keep it non-nauseating. Let me know in the comments if it's working or if you needed a bucket. You get a bonus shot inside the cockpit. You can see what it looks like if you remove the wood off the beam. That orange stuff is the original red paint. It used to be uh, Nordic red because the boat was made by a Norwegian fella. He was obviously very proud of his Viking roots. And here we have the newly laminated top of the beam that I redid without any wood stuff on it. Ah, I couldn't resist uh, just to give you a shot from inside um, what it looks like when you have a boat in your backyard. So here is the view out the back window. And what you see is a boat. And as you walk around to the kitchen, and what you see outside is a boat. <laughs> so yeah, wherever you look, it's all boat. Well, hey, have a good time. See you some other time. Bye.